Hi everyone, I'm Chef Leroy and welcome to my cozy kitchen. Kitchen's not done yet. I still have pendants sitting on my countertop, but the dish machine was installed today and they worked on our grout on the back wall here. So because I've got most of the kitchen done, I decided that we're gonna have our first dinner in our brand new kitchen. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do one of our favorite things that we do and that is tacos. I'm gonna actually do something a little different with my tacos. I'm gonna do chicken mole tacos, okay? So here's my mole right here. And there's lots of different moles out there for different types of recipes. Uh, this is a rojo. There's a black as well. There's also a verde. Um, this one I really like, the rojo. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Now, when you make mole, which I'll start the mole first because it takes a little bit to cook it. You're basically gonna take, I'm gonna take a quarter cup of this and then you have to multiply the water by three. So we need three quarter cups of water to make, it'll make basically one full cup. And that should be enough mole for what I'm doing. Mole's in the pot, water's in the pot. Whisk right here. Now on induction heats really fast, so you gotta be very careful. That's one thing I know, because I've been using induction for quite a long time, but just not this new range, so. Sorry, my arm's in the way there. Move this over just slightly. And the reason I'm starting the mole first is I have to cut some vegetables for my fajita and my chicken. So I'm gonna get this going, get this warm. And then once it's warm, I'm good. I can put it into a pan with my vegetables when they're, saute when they're sauteing. So I'll just pull this aside and we'll just throw it in with the vegetables and chicken toward the end. But you just want to get this going because you want to simmer your mole for a little bit, okay? Okay guys, I'm back at the vegetables here. Uh, I've got a couple peppers, I've got some yellow onion, I've got some potatoes here. These are some potatoes we did for breakfast the other day, so I'm going to repurpose them and actually add them to my fajitas. Okay, I got some sweet potato too. I'm going to try that in there. Never tried it, we're going to do it for the first time. And then chicken. I've got some chicken that I had frozen from before. This is smoked chicken breast. Then I've got a couple of these fajita chicken breasts that I did uh, some time ago and had frozen. So we're going to repurpose all this stuff here from the freezer. Now keep in mind to watch your mole. Make sure you're stirring it often. Okay? So let's get chopping. Okay guys, so I've got my peppers seeded, stemmed. I usually cut end to stem, that's how I cut them. It's really easy to pop the stem out. So I didn't, I'm gonna use these other halves, I'll put these away, use this for another meal. So, so far I've got one half orange pepper, one half red pepper, one half yellow, and a full green pepper. Now what I'm gonna do is cut them in half through the middle, like this. So, just like so, and julienne. I like them a little bit smaller because we use a small corn tortilla for our tacos. These are a six inch corn tortilla. I'll show you how we heat those up a little bit. But anyway, let's julienne our pepper. Now one other step I can show you. So while I'm cutting my pepper, either I throw them into another container that I'd have to wash or I'll just throw them right in my pan. So I'll grab some oil which I have off screen here, sorry about that. So I've got some olive oil, about a tablespoon in there, that's it. Put it back over there, and then just throw your peppers. Okay, so onion, it's a pretty small onion. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. You can see it's a small onion, so I'm going to just go ahead and julienne my onion. So this is plenty of onion right here, this half of a small onion. I'm not gonna put more. All right, now I don't really have to do much with my chicken. Basically, I just sauteed my vegetables off. I'm gonna throw some garlic in there as well. But this chicken is fully cooked, so all I need to do is cut it into small strips and add it to my vegetables when my vegetables are pretty close to being finished. 
The other part I'm going to do is sweet potato. So, and then the other potatoes that I'm repurposing, these are already pre-cooked, so we'll add that in toward the end. So the next thing I need to do is peel my sweet potato. I'm going to cut the sweet potato in half to make it a little bit more manageable. I'll cut it down the middle. Cut it again down the middle. Down the middle again. I'm just going to cut it down in basically small quarters here so I can slice it smaller. And there you go. Just throw that right into the pan. Just like so. And continue. Okay, so I decided to not use this second sweet potato. I think it's just going to be too much vegetables. So keep an eye, keep in mind, I, I, I basically work on ratios and I don't uh, really have recipes that are written exactly. I just follow my own instinct, right? So I'm not going to use this second one. I'll keep that for another meal prep, but all my vegetables are in the pan. So let's get them on the stove. And also my mole should just be about ready to go and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back to the stove and here's the mole. So basically what you're doing is cooking it down until it's smooth because it is a paste to start with and you can see there it's looking lovely and it also will thicken up as well. Okay, so I'm just going to let that go ahead and cook just a little bit more and in the meantime we'll get our vegetables on the stove. I like the sound, it just sounds like a little electric razor when it comes on, it's that magnetic force basically coming on. It's pretty slick. Now as soon as you take the pan off, it stops. Pan back down, starts. That's how induction works. It's pretty slick. So anyway, well, let's go ahead and let those vegetables cook up. I decided to move my mole off the stove, well, off the burner. And the vegetables I added, I put it on my bigger burner. Add some garlic to this, about a tablespoon, just like so. Minced garlic, okay? I'm gonna hit this baby all the way up to high. And let's see how hot she gets. All right, the stove gets hot fast. So you can already see I'm got some peppers browning up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down a bit. I have it on high, so we'll kick our burner down a little bit. Before. But it cooks fast, I'll tell you that. You wanna get dinner done quick. Induction is the way to go. Okay, I'm back to the pan here. I cut my chicken, so I'll grab that in a second here. I'm gonna give this a little stir. This has only been cooking for about 10 minutes and my sweet potatoes are already tender, so that's awesome. Okay, adding chicken. And again, I cut this chicken down small. So it's about the same length as my peppers roughly. I just like to have uniformity in my vegetables and my meat so I cut everything pretty close to the same. All right so mix that chicken in with your vegetables. Now this chicken was already fully cooked and it's also partially seasoned too so I've got some smoked chicken in here and I've also got the fajita chicken that I used and that already had a seasoning on the outside. I probably shouldn't say partially but so I'm not going to add any additional seasoning, plus we're adding mole to it. So let's get that mole in there. As the mole cooled, it thickens a little bit. That's fine. Put that right in there. Okay, give that a toss. You're basically done with your fajita. So the meal prep, although like I said, I already had cooked chicken, but this literally took 30 minutes to do this. Now if you had to cook chicken, you'd probably want, you'd have to add probably in another additional 15 to 20 minutes to your cooking. Now I don't really have a cover for this pan. Uh, this one came without one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of aluminum foil on top of it to keep it warm. 
and I'll keep it really low temperature. And that'll let the, everything kind of sweat a little bit too, so it'll give a little bit more moisture back to it. So let's just cover that up, like so. So, that's uh, how you deal with no covers. You just throw a piece of foil on top. Okay guys, it's time to do tortillas. So one thing you'll really want to have great tortillas is get you one of these little boxes. Now this one's made with styrofoam. One of the guys who I work with get, uh, got this for me as a gift. It's really sweet. I put a couple paper towels in the bottom, helps keep it clean. But these are great. Keeps your tortillas warm for a long time. Yeah. Go ahead and get your tortillas on your cast iron skillet and let them cook. And these are La Perla. One of my favorite brands. We also like the blue ones too. I really like the blue ones. But Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Get nice and browned up a little bit there. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm gonna pull these two off. Put them in my tortilla box and put the cover on. And two more go on. All right, All right dinner is served. Let's serve it up. Chicken mole fajita. Cooked zucchini on the side. Voila. All right, we'll do a little recap, a little bit here. Okay guys, I'm doing a recap on chicken fajitas with mole sauce. All right, again, we started out with a mole, got it warmed up in a pan, used mole paste. This was mole rojo. Um, I did, it, you know, as you saw, the dilution is three to one, so, one of the mole, three of the liquid. And you can use stock too. If you want to do a chicken stock, you can use chicken stock. I just used water. So then after that, we got that heated up, um, smoothed it out, got it nice and smooth, set it off to the side, okay? Cut the vegetables. I basically used one and a half sweet pepper and one green pepper. I cut them in half and then I cut them in half again. Julienne, the real small julienne. I had a half of an onion, a yellow onion, which one onion, julienne that as well, about the same size as the peppers were. And then I used a tablespoon of garlic and about a tablespoon of oil. The other little trick, and I'll tell you what, the sweet potato addition to this dish was fantastic. So, cool idea, really liked it. I did only use one of my sweet potatoes. I thought the ratio was gonna be too much potato, so I just stuck to the one. We'll use the other one for another meal. And then I had some repurposed uh, potatoes as I used from another meal. I threw those in there. I didn't show you that on video, but I added this, those roast potatoes that I had on a plate. I added those into my mix. Mixed everything together after my veggies were sauteed. It was a chicken breast that was smoked. That was about three ounces, roughly. And then the other two were about six ounces each. So kind of a lot of chicken, but we used them throughout the week so that's part of it now again if you like the video subscribe hit the notification bell give me some thumbs up throw some comments out there if you want any more information about what I'm doing and otherwise you guys have a great week thanks for watching and chef Leroy and out